What's up guys, my name is Jerry and today's video is going to be on the Cleveland Cavaliers and we're going to be talking about how they still have some very valuable depth on this roster and we're going to jump right into the video. Now the Cleveland Cavaliers made, if not the best, then one of the best moves this offseason when they traded for Donovan Mitchell. And when they acquired him, they immediately became contenders in the Eastern Conference. When you bring in a guy like Donovan Mitchell and you pair him with Darius Garland, they're going to cause so many problems on the offensive side of the ball. And then you have Evan Mobley and Jared Allen manning the fort in the front court. And then they have a pretty solid glue guy in Isaac Okoro so they have a really well-rounded starting five but we all know when it comes to winning an NBA championship you got to be solid not only at the top but you also got to be solid at the bottom too and even though the Cleveland Cavaliers have lost guys like Larry Markkinen and Colin Sexton I still feel like they have some pretty solid role players on this team in this offseason they got off to a really good start because they brought back a really familiar face and that is Ricky Rubio. Now if you watch overseas competition or if you watch the Cleveland Cavaliers last season you know exactly how solid of a basketball player that Ricky Rubio is and before he went down with that ACL injury he was playing so great for the Cleveland Cavaliers and he was also very impactful. His numbers on the court were pretty good. He's pinning up around 14 points per game and around 7 assists and he was doing this while coming off the bench which is super impressive and what I I liked about Ricky Rubio and his role with the Cleveland Cavaliers. First of all, his veteran presence was really great for that young team, but he was also like having a coach out on the floor. And Ricky Rubio, he's one of those players that ages like wine. The older he gets, the more better he gets at the game of basketball. And his game relies on no athleticism at all. It's purely IQ and pure skill. Ricky Rubio is a great passer. He can handle the ball well, and he just knows how to pick guys guys in the right spot so that, it, so that they can be successful when it comes to scoring the basketball. And something that he's worked so greatly on since he came into the NBA, Ricky Rubio was not a great shooter when he came into the league, and he's worked on that so much, and now he's a formidable three-point shooter. So I feel like the Cleveland Cavaliers, they're going to love having him back, especially now that they they I don't see them really having to play him alongside Darius Garland. I feel like he's going to play with the second unit a lot, and that's going to be really good for the Cleveland Cavaliers when you can have somebody that can come off the bench and create plays for other guys so that the offense can be successful. So I really like the addition of Ricky Rubio. And the Cleveland Cavaliers, they also still have Kevin Love. And before we go any further in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, a digital security company called Aura. And me personally, I've had the app for two days now, and it's already been super beneficial to me. As soon as I created my account and logged in, Aura notified me about six of my passwords being leaked to the dark web and what I love about this app is that it was very easy for me to identify what those six passwords were and I was able to change them immediately and the cool thing about Aura is that they don't just monitor leak passwords but they also keep an eye on your email your social security number and your credit card they make sure none of these things are surfacing on the dark web and if they do find anything they send a notification to your phone or your email so you can get things taken care of as soon as possible and what I love about this app is that it's very convenient but it's also super cool and easy to use and thanks to my partnership with Aura you and your family can get a free 14 day trial to try the app for yourself and make sure that any of your information is not out on the dark web all you have to do is go to aura.com slash champion and that link will also be in the description and in the comment section thank you guys for listening and now we can get back to the video 
Now last year was big time for Kevin Love and not because he was playing well on the court, but you could just tell that he found joy in playing the game of basketball again. Kevin Love has opened up numerous times about his mental health problems and to see him enjoying the game of basketball was really cool. It seemed like he was having fun playing with those young guys and on top of that, the Cleveland Cavaliers were winning basketball games and Kevin Love, he had a, vet a veteran presence out on the court and in the locker room and he was also playing some really solid minutes and at one point of the season he was a candidate for six man of the year he put up 14 points per game and also grabbed seven rebounds so I think that was pretty huge and having him going forward especially with adding so much more talent to the team with a guy like Donovan Mitchell when you bring in Kev Kevin Love with the second unit that's going to be that's going to be great because K Love he still has all that skill that he has he can still go down in the post he can shoot the fade over both shoulders he can take advantage of smaller guys on the block and most importantly in today's game he can stretch the floor he shoots that three ball really well and he's added so much range to his shot so i really love kevin love he has that playoff experience he has championship experience and he's really going to help the cleveland cavaliers in terms of depth in their second unit and the Cleveland Cavs, they also have Karis LeVert. Now it truly is remarkable to see Karis LeVert playing the game of basketball once again because he has dealt with some serious physical health issues off the court. But nonetheless, he had a pretty solid NBA season last year with the Indiana Pacers. He was pinned up around 18 points per game and when he came to Cleveland, it dropped down to 13 points per game. But that's expected when you're figuring out a new role in the team and still learning the system and the players but going into next season i'm gonna love his new role for the cleveland cavaliers i believe they're gonna bring him off the bench and they're gonna form a second unit backcourt with him and ricky rubio and i feel like these two guys right here are gonna work really well together because ricky rubio what he what he has excelled at since he's come into the nba is setting up other guys he is a great playmaker and karis levert he's the complete opposite he's a guy that likes to score first and he looks for his own shot before he looks for others so I feel like Ricky Rubio is going to do a great job of helping him set up and Karis LeVert is a pretty skilled individual he can knock down wide open catch and shoot threes but the best part of his game is putting the ball on the floor and creating his own shot he can score in isolation he can also navigate the pick and roll and he's a great um, finisher around the rim he can finish with both hands so I think with these three guys right here these are the three guys that I got my eyes on um, Kevin Love Ricky Rubio and, and Karis LeVert I think they're gonna play a huge role for the Cleveland Cavaliers next season but they also have some pretty other solid players as well they have guys like Lamar Stevens they still have Sadie Osman in there and I love Sadie Osman he he is such a great team player and he does exactly what the Cavaliers need him to do he needs to come in and play some hard minutes um, playing solid defense and knocking down open shots or if it's supporting his teammates from the bench so I really like this Cavaliers unit and they're, like I said they're a pretty form um, formidable team love the starting five love the addition of Donovan Mitchell that is such a game changer because people don't know just how good Donovan Mitchell is I mean I am such a huge fan of him Evan Mobley and Darius Garland. I think these three guys going forward in the NBA, they're going to be one of the scariest trios once they're all fully developed. But that's going to be it for this video. I want to touch on how, you know, don't let that Donovan Mitchell trade overshadow, you know, the depth that the Cavaliers have on this team. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment down below if you agree or disagree, and then subscribe. Subscribe for more weekly content. We do this all the time, man. And that's curtains.